Hello and welcome back to Vintage Story. It's, it's been a little bit, uh, I've been busy with other things, uh, mostly streaming, uh, which uh, I've been doing a lot of actually, because you know, it's it's spooky month and you wanna do a, a bit of streaming. But anyway, that's that's enough of that. It's uh, This is Vintage Story Hour now. Um, a lot of this episode is gonna be about, um, we're, we're building up the uh, expansion of the uh, greenhouse and that's going to be the next few episodes you know uh, that's something I, I really wanted to get done and uh, it's it's very time consuming there's a lot of things that are involved it's it's much like basically a second house it's kind of a shame that I spent so much time working on a house that is basically you know mostly aesthetic I mean there are going to be uh, other functions and stuff that uh, the, the second floor take advantage of. But for the most part, that second floor is going to be a lot of aesthetic and, and a bedroom and stuff like that. So um, not that, uh, you know, I don't like working towards those things, but the actual functionality, the things that we need as a player, um, it, those are things that we, we need functional houses for. So that's that's the greenhouse. But in the meantime, uh, I did get some uh, ingot molds done. I, I'm kind of expanding the blacksmith or the workshop um, a little bit here and there. Wh wherever I feel like there's a, a need, um, uh, you know, I, I kind of fill things out occasionally. I am going to do a lot of starving. You'll notice um, the textures are still kind of missing. That is a problem I believe I solve in this episode. Um, but, you know, a vintage story has been updated a couple times. Copper was the thing we needed also, um, and this is a, a so going to be kind of an ongoing problem until I find like a proper vein, but uh, I, I still think that uh, finding surface veins is a pretty viable way of uh, taking care of this problem. But, uh, you know, it doesn't come without some perils. I don't know, like there, there's not a lot of copper in these veins, but you can, you can get lucky, and um, of course the actual like... Um, or itself will, will vary in richness, but that means I have to play around with the prospector's pickaxe, and I, I don't know, I have very much a mixed relationship with the prospector's pickaxe. Sometimes I, I get very lucky, and sometimes I search around for what's, what feels like longer than if I had just like randomly picked, picked a, a, a direction. Here is, I think, um, my best... My my best experience with a wolf ever. It helps that the um, it helps that the texture was not loading in, which made it a lot easier to spot them. But um, and like I say, I, I fixed the, that um, situation. It, uh, I, honestly, it's been a while since I've seen this footage, so um, I'm kind of surprised to, to even see the textures are not loading in. I'm still having a little bit of problems um, keeping up with the food situation, but I'm happy to report that uh, winter is like nearing its end finally and uh food is is a is a problem much solved in the uh the coming episode or so but um yeah like i don't know i i've been i've been just kind of struggling to keep up with it um in terms of of like keeping food um solved it's it's been a it's been an ongoing problem i knew it was i was kind of dreading winter because i knew i was going to run into a little bit of a food shortage because, um, you know, I, I, I've been going out on these, like, hunting expeditions, but not really finding all that much. At least nothing that I can eat. Um, a lot of things that are eating me, but, you know, uh, not, not in the wrong direction there, unfortunately, on the food chain situation. So, um, here is our greenhouse work. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of work to be done, not just, like... Um, reaping the fields like I had to I had to of course sow the fields and all that stuff and till the soil and all that but also I needed more uh, medium fertility soil that's a thing I needed a ton of and I wanted um, I wanted this greenhouse to be pretty large because there's a few things I wanted first of all I want vegetables like a lot of vegetables um, that's basically our, our main room and uh, I've been basically since I finished ish or building this greenhouse, um, not watering things. So that's that's been going pretty well. I could water things to make them grow faster, but I'd rather have a big greenhouse that I don't have to water than a medium-sized one that I have to water often in order to keep up with food demands. 
but um, you know, hence, hence why I'm putting all of this like water underneath the wall. It's a little bit of an exploit um, and probably not in the true spirit of like my um, series, but for the most part, I, I think, mo you know, like, I think people will be fine with this. It's, it's a, a fairly acknowledged technique for making a greenhouse so that you don't have to do a lot of watering and your uh, soil moisture is at a good level. But besides that, I wanted, I want to have sections that have um, grains for uh, not just, you know, uh, bread, but also for making pies and stuff. Um, but also I wanted, I want to have a very large section for flax seed because um, flax is something we're going to need a lot of. Just like a ridiculous amount of flax is, is going to be required in the coming, uh, you know, months of a vintage story. <laughs> Uh, and I also wanted to, ha I want to have a section for berries because berries are going to become uh, very useful when it comes to animal husbandry. Um, after you've done, uh, finished juicing your berries, you can uh, use the mash to uh, feed animals. And animal husbandry is something, uh, now that we're like kind of officially or non-officially in the new uh, year and in, in our second year, animal husbandry is something I'm going to want to get into. Um, starting with an unexpected, but uh, all the all the more valid form of animal husbandry, which is going to be beekeeping. I don't know where you sit on beekeeping as a as a form of animal husbandry, but I think it should count. I mean, we're not technically taming the bees, but I I I, I <laughs> honestly I uh, challenge you to tell me that we we tamed uh, you. In our in our home uh, or you know barn for for a while, and even in vintage store, you don't really tame the animals. You uh, tame the, the the second and third generation. Um, so I don't know. I think bees should count. And in, in a lot of ways, bees are actually friendlier in this game than a lot of the animals that you keep. Uh, at least you know first and foremost. Like as soon as you get animals, they're not friendly. Second and third generation, they're a lot more. Uh, you know docile but the bees are, are actually really nice um uh, we'll, we'll get to that uh, in a couple of episodes from now this is actually um this is where we start uh i've been i've been trying to very like slowly but surely um working on this bee situation so <clears throat> let me talk a little bit about it here's how you get bees once you've found a beehive which i did i was very very lucky to do so I could hear them. You can generally hear them before you see them. Once you have your beehive, you're going to want to make a couple of skeps. Skeps are basically bee boxes, and they are, as it is right now, as it stands right now, the only form of bee box. I wish there were proper bee boxes that you could make out of planks, but for now, this is all you got. You got the skep. And the skeps are kind of a pain in the butt, but they work for you. Um, once you have a couple of skeps, you want to place them near the beehive. Uh, I don't think I've done that yet. I think I, or maybe I did and I didn't understand how bees worked yet and I had to do a little bit of uh, digging in terms of uh, how, how how do bees work. Yeah, there, there are our skeps. I, I, you know, things kind of blend together. Anyway, um, the way the bees work is the more flowers that are near the bees, um, the, the quicker, the, the, the more accelerated their growth is, their population growth. Once you, they reach a certain population density, then they swarm. Once they swarm, then they basically, the hive will split into, um, you know, close by hives. This is me fixing the game, by the way. I included this little bit of footage just to, just as a marker of like, I updated Vintage Story and the textures are now working. So there you go. Um, but yeah, basically the, the, the bees will split off into uh, a, a, an approximate or like um, a proximi proximity hive or whatever they can get a hold of. So a skep is basically the, the first candidate. Um, this is a real kind of real life talk blending into mechanical talk, but anyway. Um, so once they, they split into the skeps, you'll see them, their population will be pretty, pretty you know, poor at first and then they'll grow because you still have the flowers there, right? Here's our medium fertility soil for the sake of uh, expanding our greenhouse. And um, the skeps are very large, so that you can't actually just like break them and put them in your inventory. Doing so will, will destroy your bees, don't do that. You're gonna have to 
empty one of your inventory kind of expansion slots, the ones that you keep your either your baskets or your uh, bags in. So you're gonna have to have an empty bag slot basically. And then you can right click the skip and uh, store it and it takes up an entire inventory slot uh, or expansion slot. Um, doing so will reduce the population a little bit uh, but that's okay. It doesn't, you know, the, the, pro the important part is you have a hive now. And then you can put it wherever you need, probably close to your home. Um, and then you're going to want to surround it with some flowers. You're also going to want to expand the, um, you know, into more skeps and more hives, right? Because the thing is, is that once the skep is full of honey and or a honeycomb, um, you harvest it by breaking it and then you get your honeycomb, which you can then turn into wax and honey. Um, this is pretty, I think, close to real life, except we have proper, like, not apiaries. Apiaries are apparently the term referred to the zone that the bees are kept in, but uh, we have proper bee boxes um, in real life, so we don't have to, like, destroy the box um, or the hive. We can just, like, claim the honey without disturbing much, uh, and then we use smoke to, to calm the bees. But uh, in any case, you have to destroy the hive in this game. So that means you're going to want to split your hive into multiple skips before you do so. We died of hunger. Uh, I, like I said, I'm running into food problems. And I'm going to continue to expand our greenhouse here with uh, medium fertility soil and also make sure that all of the walls have water underneath them. It's a pretty time consuming affair. And, uh, you know, I've. I've kept it here uh, as almost like a, you know, this is almost a vlog at this point, but uh, I understand it's probably the most, not the most interesting thing. Anyway, um, your skeps or your, your bee populations will split off into other hives in much the same way they did originally. Um, so you can just, you just want to surround your hive, original hive with flowers and then surround um, kind of with a two, uh, two tile gap between them. Um, uh, more skeps, more empty ones, and then they'll eventually populate those as well. And once they have, then you can, uh, you know, safely destroy your uh, skep for the honeycomb. That's a lot of bee explanation, but um, I think it's important. I, I'm still kind of toying with the idea of doing a tutorial series, but I don't want to become the vintage story guy. So well, we'll see. I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I'm sure I'm sure someone wants a tutorial series from me, but they're just so time consuming. Much like doing a 30 episode series. And it would it would take a lot of time. <laughs> um more more metal working. Uh you know, to, it's all become kind of uh, a chore in a good way. You know, like I I've it, it's very blase. There was a time when blacksmithing the novelty of it that that I even had the materials needed to do it. It was kind of a big deal, but now it feels very uh, kind of by the numbers, and uh, so it, it, it the novelty is lost a little bit. I am still playing with here and there methods of um, working the metal that uses up less of the hammer, but I don't know if that's actually the case. I'm pretty sure if you use like a, a heavy hit, it uses up more durability than if you just use like a lot of little hits. So I don't know. Maybe it just saves you a bit of time. I am actually kind of burning through our clay a little bit. I mean, you can see, obviously, there's a huge pile still left, but, uh, you know, I've been working through it. And also, what is in the box? What's in the box? I just love this broken texture. Like, what was that? I, I believe I broke it and then nothing happened. Like, the game didn't crash, which is nice. Um, but also, I didn't get, like, a mystery box or tile or anything. I didn't even get soil. It was probably clay or something but i just i the, the, i thought that was really funny um so we're still working on uh the greenhouse here it's like i say it's gonna be a while i think it's i finish it not in the next episode not in the episode after that but probably in the one after that so we have like three more of uh me building up the greenhouse because it's it's basically as as big and ambitious as another floor for the uh, house. So it is what it is. The glass is um, more or less taken care of currently. Um, it's not a big deal. We're just, you know, you gotta cook some bricks and make some more bloomeries. And we fortunately have a huge pile of coal that I got. Uh, and I also have pretty much a, a pretty good coal vein still 
uh, up in the mountains. So uh, that, that's working out pretty well. I really don't like these crawly dwellers. They they creep me out. They, they, they feel new. I don't feel. I don't think they were in the game before. But I, I don't like I don't like that they crawl like that. That uh, that is super unsettling. Um, so here I am I, uh, baking a, a few more bricks for bloomeries because I am, am, am uh, anticipating the need for a lot of glass. Not just for the greenhouses, although yes for the greenhouses, but also I kind of want to play with glass planes for the house. Uh, as well as other uh, various needs. Glass is uh, useful for a lot of things, including making more lanterns, which may also be a thing in our future. Um, you know, like there's there's a few different methods of making light. And, uh, you know, I've kind of played with all of them, but if we are going to actually have bees and a reliable source of wax, and uh, then we should be able to make candles. And I do think that lanterns are probably one of the best ways of making light sources because you only require one plate and they fill a lot of light. They, they just have a lot of light. A lot more than torches, even the torch holders. And uh, we could also potentially make silver or gold lanterns which have even more light, which I, I denied this for a while, but people um, insisted that it was true and I looked it up and it is true that the silver and gold a lanterns do have a wider radius. I guess it does make some sense because the silver and gold are going to be a bit more reflective um, of that light, so th they would actually maybe cover some more ground, but I don't know. And uh, it's just a little bit strange to me. Uh, occasionally, Vintage Story will make some mechanical concessions uh, and, and compromise reality for the sake of the game, and I actually appreciate that it does, but it's always a little bit of a shock to me when it happens. This was um, honestly kind of a nice treat was I, I was finally able to uh, make a pie. Uh, I haven't done that in a while, basically since, you know, winter began-ish. Um, but, you know, I haven't had a lot of, uh, you know, wheat or any kind of grain. So I didn't have any anything for flour. But uh, now that I'm starting to get vegetables from the garden, I can, I can uh, throw some vegetables at some pies. I, I'm now grainless again for a while until the garden starts giving me grains, but they should do so at a pretty good rate. Um, and I was also happy that um, this was one of the first and only uh, pie making sessions where I, I didn't burn or ruin any of the pies. And I'm also happy to report that the bug uh, uh, where I, whenever I placed a pie, it was kind of stuck on that tile uh, is now gone and I'm able to remove pies safely. So um, pie making, uh, you know, we're, we're good in terms of pie making. I'm, I'm happy about that. Definitely want to give the greenhouse a roof and, you know, I guess I can't do anything in this game without it being a ridiculously ambitious affair. So, you know, we, we're making roofs for the greenhouses setting up our bloomeries for more glass. And uh, you're going to see the next couple episodes are going to be uh, almost, th there's a continuity and arc when it comes to how I stack my uh, firewood, which is just a lot of fun. And <laughs> I, I don't know, that's, that's a lie, I guess. But um, I'm also in the next episode going to be making just an absolutely absurd number of torch holders, which is, um, you know, I say an absurd number. I think it's 10. Um, but torch holders is a really time-consuming um, activity <clears throat> because you got to make two plates each, and uh, it's just it's just a lot of work. It's a lot of banging out um, these these brass plates, and the brass. Um, fortunately, I mean, I guess in a way, the brass is not really useful for a lot else. Um, there, there's a few things that brass is useful for, but um, you know, as I understand it, they only make plates for certain things. I don't know. Either way, the torch holders are going to be useful. They are um, not just a good light source, but they're also good for a kind of, um, you know, fire starter. So, you know, I don't have to make fire anymore, basically ever again, which is nice. But anyway, look forward to more torch holders in the next episode. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button. Consider subscribing. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.